I'm here in Copenhagen and I'll be spending my time here in this beautiful place in the next 32 hours. I've been in this place for a few times already and I'll be exploring again some places that I've always wanted to see before. So we arrived in the hotel around 8 in the morning and since it was still too early to go out at that time, I just took a nap for approximately 3 hours. And after that, I went for a stroll right away. The hotel we are staying in is just a walking distance from the city and other tourist attractions. And just by strolling on my way to the first attraction, I'm already seeing lots of beautiful scenery. I've always loved nature walks as it always gives me inspiration and new perspective in life. So as I wander around the city, I can see a few people on bicycle. It's also one of their main transportations when going to work. And I know I should have rented a bicycle from the hotel itself for me to be able to enjoy more. Nevertheless, it's a sunny day in Copenhagen and my heart is beating so fast whenever I see places like these. And I know you would agree with me too. And trust me, it also took me some time to reach the first tourist attraction as I also can't help myself but take a few shots. I don't see much of crowd in the area and I witness that not so many shops are open and I think it is because of the current situation. I also remember coming to this place three years ago, seeing lots of tourists, and the road was quite busy. Most of the cafes and bars here were either closed or empty, and you won't see much people dining. Also, the locals here may not wear their mask when they're outside. However, you are required to wear a face covering once you're inside an establishment. So this is the place that I've always wanted to visit. Actually, it's my second time to be in this place. And I'm still in awe with the mesmerizing view. This Copenhagen New Harbor is an ideal place to spend your time soaking up the sun, people watching, while enjoying your view. This spot is an Instagram-worthy place. The colorful buildings lining the canal provides a perfect background for a European vacation photo album. It will also leave you with the beautiful memories of a fairy tale European harbor. These restaurants used to be so full all year round, especially in the summertime. And now, everything has changed. You'll find only a few people in these shops. More and more yachts are also parked in the area. But that's probably just normal. However, just watching empty streets of Copenhagen is just not their normal here. The cruise tours are also empty and I can literally count the people here who are passing by in this area. Now it's time to go someplace else. 
and I stumbled upon this building full of wall plants and I realized it was an art museum yet I've only seen five people outside having their coffee after that I went in the opposite direction on my way to the hotel just to explore other things and just allowing myself to get lost in the beauty of the city I never took any kind of local transportation here because I wanted to easily stop and take a few moments to appreciate the beautiful attractions I'm seeing. And since I came here in autumn season, I can't help but fall in love with the colors of the leaves and that cotton candy clouds. So I'm going back to the hotel now. It's still around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, however, the sun is already down, almost down. So I'm gonna go head back to the hotel now. I don't know which way to go, but I'm going to just, you know, stroll around the area and see what I can also find in here. But however, yes, I'm going back to the hotel. I'm going to meet another supervisor there. So on my way back to the hotel, I came across this beautiful scenery with no people around. I once again stopped by and just witnessed the amazing sunset. There's a few shops here as well, but it's also empty. And I can only hear the sound of the nature with birds chirping and splashing water in the harbor. in the afternoon they are already closing I'm not sure why but maybe it's because of the situation right now but they're already removing it was around 5 in the afternoon that I reached the hotel and my surrounding was already dark I also met another crew to have dinner with me and as expected, there was nobody around except for five people inside this restaurant. We decided to have our dinner in this Thai restaurant just in the hotel and I ordered their seafood platter with a glass of their house white wine. On the next day after my morning routine, I decided to go for a run and went to a small community named Christiania and continued the journey at the lakeside where you can see a few people walking and enjoying the nature. are so colorful which made me feel so inspired to go out for a run though it was freezing cold. I hope you enjoyed my video for today's vlog and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.